Good morning. This is Kello Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. In the last year and a half, four high-profile Minnehaha County cases have ended with a suspect being acquitted of the most serious crimes. Kello Land News spoke with Attorney General Marty Jackley and a Sioux Falls criminal defense attorney about the cases, and neither believe the acquittals are any kind of trend. Overall, it's just a case-by-case -case circumstance, and every once in a while, you know, you, you just have a string of certain cases that perhaps they needed to be brought, they need to be put in front of a jury, which is what our system is, and then the jury speaks, and we respect that. Sioux Falls defense attorney Rayleigh Hansitman says we can expect to hear more cases with self-defense pleas. That's because the South Dakota legislature bolstered the state's stand-your-ground law in 2021. And we are learning new information about the largest fentanyl bust in South Dakota history. Two people are charged in the case, Berta Gonzalez and Edwin Salinas. According to a factual basis statement signed by Gonzalez, they were bringing the drugs from California to Minnesota back in November, but they didn't make it to their destination. Authorities stopped them in Roberts County and searched their car. Inside, the court document says they found more than three pounds of powder and more than 53,000 pills, all containing fentanyl. According to a signed plea agreement, Gonzalez plans to plead guilty to being part of a conspiracy to deal drugs. She'll face a minimum sentence of 10 years in prison and a maximum of life. Salinas is scheduled to go on trial next month. Joe Donnell, a member of South Dakota's House of Representatives, went on a podcast recently and claimed that Mount Rushmore is a, quote, Freemason shrine and portal for demonic entities to enter and spread communism throughout the country. Donnell was elected in 2022 and is a member of the Sisseton Wapiton Oyate. Kelloland News reached out for a comment and he has not yet responded. The South Dakota Democratic Party sent a letter calling for Governor Nome to renounce Donnell's comments. Digital reporter Gracie Terrell has the full story on our website now. Now let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munn. Good morning, Scott. All right, good morning, everybody. We are following another round of showers and thunderstorms across western South Dakota for today. Things will develop during the late afternoon hours and head into the evening. Dry skies in central and eastern Kettleland. Temperatures today will reach the 80s for central and eastern South Dakota. 80s will continue in the Minnesota and Iowa as we are looking at 70s today across western Kettleland with those scattered storms across the west. That trend will continue for the next couple of days as well as the mostly dry skies found in eastern Kettleland. More details on your forecast with Brian coming up. Thank you, Scott. Parts of the Black Hills saw some active weather yesterday. A viewer in the lead area shared this video of hail south of town with us. In it, you can see the hailstones bouncing off of a deck. Following this most recent round of severe weather, make sure you download our Kelloland Storm Tracker app to your smart devices. There you can track the storms with our radar and take a tour across the Kelloland Live Cam Network. A joint Sioux Falls City Council and Minnehaha County Commission meeting yesterday focused on rezoning an area near I-229 and I-90 from agriculture land to private golf club. The new private Mapleton Golf Club would sit on 210 acres of land just north of Interstate 90 near the South Dakota Veterans Cemetery. Golf would be the main amenity, but the space will also feature some lodging as well as a restaurant and bar. The rezoning ordinance passed unanimously with one amendment changing the hours the bar could be open from 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. A groundbreaking could happen as soon as later this year or spring of 2024. Get ready to hear more pops, bangs, and whistles in Kelloland. In-state fireworks sales started Tuesday in South Dakota. Kelloland News stopped at Pyro City Fireworks near the T exit and found a handful of customers already filling their carts. The owner says customers may notice more selection this year because supply chain issues have eased in-state sales and on July 5th. This Friday is the opening performance of The Greatest Show on H2O. The event at Catfish Bay Water Ski Park in Sioux Falls will showcase stunts, including people on their shoulders to group pyramids and barefoot skiing. Catfish Bay is still waiting on approval before launching fireworks like they did last year, but the group's president hopes it'll happen for a second straight year. Last year's fireworks show, sponsored by Mola Pallets, 
was sold out. We had a packed house out here. It was amazing. Um, but people should check check our website back on Wednesday, Thursday, just to verify. But uh, for one way or the other, we're giving away a bunch of prizes this Friday night, and uh, we're going to have our fan, the greatest show on H2O, and hopefully we'll have the greatest fireworks show on H2O right here at Catfish Bay. Along with the show on Friday, they'll have another performance at 2 p.m. on the 4th of July to see if any updates have been made regarding fireworks. You can check out this story on Kelloland.com. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Brian Karstens. Brian? All right, our weather forecast here. Well, you can see the progression of those scattered thunderstorms last night. The rainfall totals around Aberdeen coming in over three quarters of an inch. Uh, nice to see that. Watertown receiving some nice rain too. Parts of Cottingham County over half an inch of rain. There were more storms, of course, in the west we talked about earlier that came in, and some of those with some large hail west of winter, uh, out toward Parmalee and the areas even into the Black Hills. So just kind of be alert to that uh, possibility of some more storms in the west today. Sioux Falls, I would say, staying mainly dry now. The wind will be shifting around to the west, northwest, and temperatures, well, probably close to 90 in Yankton today, still in the 70s, though, in Rapid City, where, again, future cast lights up the thunderstorms in the west and I think right now that tomorrow morning the best shot of rain is going to be in northern Nebraska. Some of that can tease uh, the far southern counties of South Dakota. Uh, Sioux Falls at this point not too likely but we'll watch radar trends nevertheless. I would say tomorrow again kind of reflaring in the Black Hills and then once again Thursday night probably another round of rain going into Nebraska. So it's raining for some of these dry spots. It's just not getting everybody and I would say Sioux Falls pointing out uh, yeah, lack of heavy rain lately so we'll see what we can generate in the seven day for now i'm more uh, inclined to keep things pretty tamed down the next uh, 36 hours friday friday night there could be a few thunderstorms roaming around sioux falls or the southeast and into saturday too so that's a time frame i would say is worthy of a 20 percent chance of rain sunday's forecast at 87 and next week well ahead of the fourth of july we can't rule out a few pockets of thunderstorms that's also when Aberdeen will start to entertain a couple more chances of rain but the next three to four days looking pretty dry and pretty warm but after some recent rain that's certainly helpful uh, we see pier in the mid to upper 80s possibility we sneak into the 90s for a little bit uh, Sunday Monday but we're not going to get any substantial sustained heat yet uh, that's good news too for the west uh, where this year we're seeing some definite changes in moisture patterns. Yet again, more rain for Rapid City on Friday with a high of 75. Check out more details with the forecast online at kettleland.com.